Hello. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to Greg and the Blue Water Film Festival for this incredible honor to, to win your uh, Global Guardian Award. It's just a, a thrill. I was thrilled when I found out about it, and I'm more thrilled now because I've looked at the incredible lineup of films and documentaries on water and oceans that you have at this festival, and I'm knocked out. Um, I apologize for not being there in person. I live a long way away. I live in Ottawa, Canada. I am come out of the women's movement and the human rights movement, and so I came into the water issue more as a question of human rights, the lack of human uh, access to, to water, and asking the question who is making decisions around water. Way back in the 1980s when uh, Canada and the US were negotiating a free trade agreement which morphed into the North American free trade agreement, and in there, written up as a tradable good like running shoes and cars, was water in all its forms, including ice and snow. And I thought, hmm, how can that be? I, it can't be that water is a tradable good that's gonna be put on the market like oil and gas. Well, that became the fight of my life, right? So I started to explore it and I learned three really important things. One is that we are a planet running out of fresh, available, clean water. Um, which we all learned was impossible back in grade six, but I promise you it's happening. Um, we are diverting water from where nature put it to where we want it. Um, we're over extracting groundwater. We're damming our rivers to death. Um, we're polluting water. Um, we're acting as if water is a resource for our, our pleasure and profit and, and, and industrial growth instead of seeing it as something sacred that we need to protect. We need to be all be global guardians, right? So I learned that and the UN in fact says that within a decade, the demand for fresh water will outstrip supply by about 46%, which is just an incredible uh, statistic. So of course that has a human impl implication, twin crisis. Uh, is human as well and one quarter of the world's population does not have access to clean water on a daily basis. One half of the world's population does not have access uh, to adequate sanitation. These are just stunning statistics. So we really do have a water crisis quite separate from the climate crisis. I ask people to think blue as well as thinking green. But I also learned that there's a mighty contest about what's going to be the solution to these crises. Will it be a market solution to be controlled by transnational corporations or will uh, water be considered a human right and a public trust? So these, these questions are really vital for our time. And that's why the film that you, the films that you're doing, making and presenting, the festival here is so incredibly important because you are opening up the question of, of all aspects of water. The more we learn, the more we can tackle it, the more we can have solutions. And I want to say a word about hope. I just have a couple of minutes uh, to speak to you, but I my latest book is on how to use hope or the importance of hope in social and environmental justice movements. Um, and I borrowed a, a term from an American environmental spiritualist, actually, and she, she uses the, the term wise hope, which I love. Wise hope makes you look the issue in the eye. You're not going to pretend it's anything but what it is, and you learn as much as you can, but you still take action. So my definition of, of wise hope is that it's a commitment to protecting all that is good for the future, future generations, the planet, knowing you can't control the outcome. And that's hard for a type A like me, but you can't but knowing that you have to do something anyway. So you put your hand out and you touch the world in a place where you can, where you can make a difference. And this is very important. You have faith that others are doing the same and you don't know who they are. You can't possibly know where they are or what they're doing, but you have to have faith. We have to put out into the world the antidote of hope and action uh, if we are going to deal with the violence against nature and the violence against one another. And that's what this film festival does. This is, you are a ray of hope. You are part of, of, of a vision. What Pedro Arroyo, who is the special UN special rapporteur on, on the human right to water, calls the blue soul of water, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. So I thank you for this honor with all my heart. I, um, I wish you all the best. And I, I know that you will dive deeply into the, these wonderful films and will come out so enriched and so committed to protecting the world's water. Thank you so much.